Hey guys, welcome to the one year anniversary of Philosophy Tunes. Uh, this is how we're gonna celebrate. I, I don't care, I do not care. We are gonna be just super immature and people might get pissed off. I, I, I recognize that. I mean, these are people that people respect, people admire, people look up to. We're just gonna throw all that shit away and we're just gonna look at their looks. Like that, that's literally it. And by the way, I should mention that while I was making this video, I found out that someone else did this video idea. So, uh, go check out their channel. Uh, I'm too lazy to change course now, so let's just get into it. So first up, we got Socrates. Now Socrates, everyone kind of knows that this dude was ugly. I think he recognized it at some point. Uh, but you know what? There's something, there's something attractive in knowing your limitations, you know? There's something... Uh, but is that an idea? I don't I don't think so. I'm He's not that bad. All right. Let's just looks alone. He's not that awful. Especially when we get into some of the other people on this list. He's just not He's not all that he's made up to be in terms of his awful look. So, you know what? We're going to put him in the uh meh category. He's just, you know, he's a little bit below average obviously, but he's not terrible. Uh, so moving on, Plato. Now, Plato is going to be a bit complicated because you got headband Plato, which is sort of the cooler looking Plato, and then you got derpy Plato. And it re you really get the mix of both when you look them up in like Google images. Uh, so if, if we average that out, right, that would be just okay. However, some of you already know that Plato was big into lifting weights and like wrestling and shit. I don't know about lifting weights, but he was definitely a gymnast. Uh, so we are going to add that to his points and we're going to put him in the nice category. All right, Aristotle. Um, all right, this is going to be complicated. So Aristotle, he looks fine from the forehead down. The problem is that you know in like middle school there were those kids that did not shower and their hair would get really greasy and would like kind of stick to their head? I don't know, that's, that's sort of the vibe I'm getting from Aristotle's hair and that's not a great, that's not a great look. Uh, however, he also does have a pretty cool beard uh, and his robe from what I could tell like or whatever it's called, I don't know. Historians, you could yell at me in the comments but whatever he was wearing it is kind of cool, so we're just going to put him in okay for now. Uh, Epicurus. Uh, Epicurus, he looks cool, but here's the problem. Uh, his ideas, like Epicureanism, it doesn't vibe well with his look. He just looks angry and frustrated in his, in his bust. And, you know what, okay, we got to be fair here. We, we, we did say that we're not bringing in ideas. And just this alone, it looks pretty alright. Uh, I do think smiling is going to get you some points, for me at least, so we're just going to put him in okay for now. Uh, Seneca. Oh god. Oh god, the Stoic community is going to kill me, uh, but Seneca does not look appealing at all. Like, worse than Socrates. We're going to put him in nah. I'm so- Look, he's cool. Uh, again, you gotta separate the ideas. Like, look at- look at Seneca. Look at him. He just looks sad. Well, he doesn't look... He looks scared. That's... That's more accurate. He looks scared. Marcus Aurelius, on the other hand, looks pretty awesome. Uh, has, like, an afro thing going on that I haven't seen with other people, really. Uh, and he has a pretty dope beard. And, uh, and, if you remember correctly, in the Gladiator movie with, uh, Russell Crowe, he was played by Dumbledore. Uh, at least the first Dumbledore. So that's obviously going to get him some points, so we're going to put him in nice. Uh, Epictetus. Epictetus is, uh, very average. I don't know, that's just the vibe I'm getting. It's just very... looks alright, I guess. Uh, there's nothing special. Uh, yeah, I... I uh, it's not inspiring a lot of thoughts here. So we're just going to put him in okay. Uh, I don't know if you're passionate about how Epictetus looks. Tell me in the comments, but... He just looks like an old dude. I don't know. Uh, Plotinus, on the other hand, I don't think I need to make any comments here. I mean, maybe it's just like the guy who did the bust, but it just, it just does not look that appealing. Um, alright. 
Augustine, St. Augustine. Now I am currently reading his confessions, and as I understand it, in his early life, he had a lot of game. You know, he was, he was into some, uh, sexual activity. Which then again, you know, it, sexual activity back then is obviously going to be different from sexual activity now. But still, uh, you gotta give him respect for, uh, you know, having that sort of luck back then. And I think he also looks cool with the stained glass and everything, so we're gonna put him in the essence of beauty. Uh, now Anselm, on the other hand, still has the stained glass, but doesn't have that, uh, doesn't have that cool backstory. At least I don't know. I haven't read Anselm's history, so I don't know if he had game like Aquinas, but uh, he's, he's just not that appealing to me. Uh, the stained glass is still pretty cool, but yeah, we're just gonna put him in okay. Now, Aquinas on the other hand, oh my god. He, okay, the monk haircut has never been attractive, at least to me. And I know it's like a hair option in some of those like, uh, fantasy games like Dark Souls. I don't know who chooses that, cause it's just, okay, he, he's rocking like the halo, the halo sort of cut. Like it looks like a halo around his head, but there's also like the bowl cut. I don't know which one's worse, but Aquinas was like, no, screw it. I'm going to make it even worse and cut like a part of my halo haircut. And it just, it does not work. Uh, this is one of the worst. This is, this might be the, the worst looking philosopher. He's going right into nah. Uh, Machiavelli, he looks very modern. You know, I could see someone like this. Uh, looking exactly like this. Uh, and that's gonna get him some points. His robe, though, it's not the best, you know? It kind of looks like, a uh, Hogwarts. It's giving me some Hogwarts vibes. So we're just gonna put him in nice, you know? He's, he's not Aquinas level, but he, he's still pretty alright. Uh, Montaigne. Uh, Montaigne's head, everything from the, everything on his head is cool. But the body, right? I'm not really a fan of the clothing. So I apologize if that's your thing, if you wear that every day, that's just, I don't know, it looks like a fucking, like a Prince in the Popper sort of thing, I don't know, man, it, it's just, it's just not my vibe, so we're just gonna put him in okay, cause he does have a cool head. Uh, Hobbs, uh, Hobbs is, you know, Hobbs looks like a, a professor that's like mean, like, just bad vibes, yells at you. Doesn't give you any excused absences. Uh, so we're just gonna put him in meh. Okay, Descartes, um... I'm not a fan of mustaches, I should probably, uh... Put that on the line here right now. On the table. Whatever the expression is. Uh, Descartes just sort of has that, like... Descartes looks like he just said something super insulting to you. But not, like, in a clever way, just like something like... Oh, you're a little bitch. And then he's, like, giving you a look like, what? What are you gonna do about it? Like a, like a smirky sort of, I don't, I don't know. It, it's just very punchable, but like, I don't know. So we're just gonna, we're, we're gonna put him in meh. Uh, also his hair's not that great, but you know. Uh, Pascal. So Pascal, you know those like child actors that grow up and even as an adult, you could still see their like child actor face. That's kind of the, the vibe I'm getting from Pascal here. So, you know, I'm I'm not a big fan of that. We're gonna put him in nah. I'm sorry, Pascal fans. Uh, Spinoza, though. Spinoza, on the other hand. Essence of beauty. Essence of beauty. He just looks pretty badass. He, uh, you know, if he had, like, a, a high fade, he would be, like, a tier above. I don't, I don't know. Can someone please draw me Spinoza with a high fade? Like, a side part also? That would be pretty dope. Uh, Locke. Locke just looks like he needs to eat. Like, he's really hungry. And I'm afraid, like, if I, like, pat him on the back or something, he's gonna collapse. And I don't, I don't vibe with that fragility. I don't know, I don't, I don't want to hurt him or anything. So, he's gonna go into meh. Uh, Leibniz. Leibniz is gonna give Aquinas a run for his money. He's not as bad as Aquinas, but that is just, like, the hair. That, that's maybe the second worst hair that we've seen so far on this, uh, on this tier list. Uh, so Leibniz is going down to nah. Uh, Barkley. Barkley has the same problem as Pascal. The, the child actor thing. The child features on the adult, uh, going into nah. I'm sorry. Hume, Hume is difficult. 
Hume is very, very difficult for me. L let me just start by saying I like Hume. I really like Hume. Like, a lot. But, and he does look very jolly. I've seen, like, this BBC show where someone, some actor portrayed Hume, and he was, like, laughing and shit, and he was like, he's like Santa. But, he just, he just looks very... I don't, I don't know, something, something about him is off and I can't put it into words. It's just, you know it when you see him, but we can't take away points for his, his jolliness. He's always smiling, he's just a good time, we're gonna put him in meh, not as bad as nah, but yeah. Rousseau on the other hand, Rousseau's going into the essence of beauty category. Uh, he has like a, that... He almost has like a stubble, not not like a full stubble, maybe like a five o'clock shadow thing. I don't. It's a light beard, and I could appreciate that. And I could also appreciate that his hair isn't super awful given the time. Uh, but you know who does not look badass? Uh, Kant. Now Kant. So for Kant, for any of the photos of Kant online, they all do not look great, except for one photo of like the guy in the blue suit that apparently isn't even Kant. So he loses in that department. So, uh, he's going right into nah. Uh, shoot, this category's filling up. I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe I'm being too harsh. I don't know. Uh, Hegel. Hegel, um, okay, you, you guys already know where, where he's tending towards. Uh, but he also has like a cool fur coat thing going on, or like, it, it looks fur. So we're just gonna put him in meh, cause uh, the, the fur saves him, I think. His, his fur getup. Uh, Schopenhauer. Uh, this is difficult. Because I think one of the things about Schopenhauer was that he was like sexually frustrated. Um, but, and, and his hair does kind of look like, like a Doc Brown sort of wacky scientist. But I also kind of dig his like stern, serious expression. You know? Like he's about business. So I'm gonna put him in okay. Uh, Emerson. Uh, as much as I love Emerson and as much as people sort of love the sideburn things that the, uh, some of the American philosophers were rocking, they're just not my thing. But at the same time, he doesn't look as goofy as some of these other people, so he's gonna be in the. He's gonna be in the okay category. Uh, Kierkegaard, uh, this photo alone, Kierkegaard's pretty badass. However, there are those photos of him, like, with the hunchback, and I know that was because of, like, some newspaper that was trying to make fun of him, and, uh, I don't know. I don't know, though, because I deal with bad posture, and it, it does not look very attractive. It's something I'm trying to work on. Uh, it's tough. I'm, I'm thinking nice. Because he, he does look really cool in the rest of his photos, but yeah, just the posture thing, it does not, it, it does, does not vibe well. So Marx, uh, you know, a lot of people, I feel like a lot of, like, communists, like, really, like, hype up Marx's looks, like, in, like, a, in, like, a forced sort of way. I don't know, I've seen people dress up as him for Halloween, and people are like, oh, it's Santa Claus, and I just don't see it. Maybe it's because I'm like outside of that community, and it, it's it's the it's the thing where like something's so hyped up by others that to you it like it downgrades it, you know? I don't I don't know. That's how I feel. So I'm I'm putting him in meh, you know? It's not terrible, not awful, not great, you know, just meh. Uh, Nietzsche. So this is gonna be a tough one. A lot of eyes are on this. Um, there are some really good pictures of Nietzsche. Let me put that out there. But there are also some very derpy ones. Where he's just sort of like looking off weirdly. I don't know. Um, but he does look pretty cool. I know I said I wasn't a big fan of mustaches. But I think he's going to get the exception here. And he also doesn't wear like a normal suit. At least in the photos I've seen of him. He wears like a... Like it is a suit. But it's not like a suit and tie sort of get up. It's like a weird bow tie thing. So you know what? We're going to put him in nice. All right, uh, this is the this is the one where I really gotta put my biases at the door, because I am a big William James fan, as some of you guys know. But he doesn't look as cool as some of the others. I gotta be honest here, he just looks okay, not terrible, not great either, just okay. His hair is kind of his hair kind of hurts him. Like I don't know what's going on with his hair. Uh, but Husserl, Husserl looks pretty awesome. He looks like a 
He looks like a uh, like a Hogwarts professor that'd be like cool, but you don't approach. Kind of like Snape. He could be the uh, the potions professor or whatever uh, Snape was. And uh, you know, because of his uh, stern expression, also, I think we're gonna put him in uh, nice as well. Now with Russell, you got a similar situation where he looks like a Hogwarts professor, uh, but not in like a not in a good way. I don't know, man. <laughs> he just Russell doesn't look that cool to me. I guess it's nice that he doesn't have a mustache or anything, unless you look at his younger pictures. But uh, I'm just feeling okay with him, honestly. I don't know. Wittgenstein, on the other hand, is going straight to the essence of beauty. So this guy, I've seen him like rock a turtleneck and it looks super dope on him and I think it just works with him. He also doesn't have any mustache, no old pictures of him because I think he died early. So you only get these younger photos of him and he looks pretty dope, I gotta say. Uh, Heidegger, he has the same problem as Hobbes for me where he, he seems like just a, just like a mean professor who, who gives really boring lectures. I don't know, that's the that's the vibe I get from him, like boring lecture professor. And uh so I'm gonna I'm gonna put him in meh. Uh, I'm sorry, Heideggerians. Uh deal with it. I don't know. Uh Sart or Sartre, depending on who you are. Uh we're just gonna do that. I don't wanna make a comment. Uh Simone de Beauvoir. Uh she's cool. The o I put her in nice. You see the only thing that's holding her back is that maybe it's maybe it's a French thing, but I've never seen that haircut she has on like another person. It's like it's like a I don't even I don't even know how to describe it. It's like it's like you have hair and then you have extra hair. I don't I'm sounding really stupid right now, but you know what I mean? I I can't describe it. It's it's just weird. But it's still uh, she's still pretty cool. Uh Camus, uh no question about it. I don't think I have to comment much on that. Uh, I might, though, have to justify this, putting Foucault in Essence of Beauty. Uh, a lot of turtlenecks. That is going to be a big plus for me. I love turtlenecks. He also just looks very contemporary. Like, you, you'd run into him on the street. Uh, he he just looks cool. I don't, I don't know what else to say. Uh, Derrida, he, he does look cool, too. Just not as cool as Foucault. Uh, I'll maybe put him in nice, I guess. Uh, he, there are some really bad pictures of Derrida. Like the one where he's like slumped over and like looks drunk. Uh, but there are also some cool pictures of Derrida. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta equal it out. Uh, and finally, uh, Richard Rorty. Uh, he's just okay. I don't know, nothing, nothing too special about him. Uh, so yeah. That is the, uh, philosophers based on their looks list. Obviously, I left a lot of people out, so I don't know if this does well. Maybe we'll do a part two. And also, thank you guys so much for being with me for one year throughout this channel. Uh, it's been fun. I've had a lot of twists and turns here and there. Met a lot of friends, learned a lot. And uh, yeah, here's to another year. Uh, share your thoughts about the list in the comments below. I am 99% sure that there's going to be a lot of disagreement here. But you know, that's what the comment section's for. And with that being said, I wish you all a beautiful rest of your day.